It is a product that is so dear to many of us. And even though used behind closed doors quite often, its value cannot be underestimated. This is the tissue paper. Kenya's manufacturing sector has from time to time reported incidences of counterfeits and illegal goods in the market. But who could ever have thought that this small but precious roll of paper could become a subject of controversy? This is precisely what has happened to Santosh Singh. The owner of this tissue rolling plant was being left stunned by the emergence of fake toilet paper manufacturers, some of whom are importing substandard products. And consumers are being cheated on the size, number of sheets, and uh, the width, so that uh, they are much lower in the quantity. And this is now lowering prices and making the consumer pay higher prices and starts making us very uncompetitive. The businessman who operates his plant at Nairobi's industrial area says the market is now saturated with counterfeit tissue papers which are heavily impacting on the genuine manufacturers. According to the Kenya Bureau of Standards, genuine tissue rolls should have 200 sheets, must be 100 mm in length and must be perforated to a minimum of 120 mm. The Kenya Bureau of Standards had earlier this year warned about the existence of substandard toilet paper on the market, namely Queensoft and Kingsoft, which it said were illegally in circulation. Time when you are touching this, when the costing contaminant is more, means the kappa number is high, it will affect your skin very badly. Denis Oteno, Citizen Business.